Hello, Leo. It's with a reading for the sign of Leo. So anyone who has Leo strongly, strongly in their chart um, could resonate with this reading. Um, this will be a free form reading. Um, so I will put out the energies on the table and then I'll dig deeper into those energies. We'll be looking out um, over a very short period of time, the next seven to 10 days or um, the next couple of weeks. So um, let me get started here, um, get these cards out on the table and see what we have in front of us, Leo. Um, there is an interesting energy as I get into this energy. Um, there's almost a slight hesitation and a, somewhat of a breathlessness when I get into this energy. Let's see what we have here today, Leo. Let's see what comes out for you. Let's see what comes out for you now. Who's here for the sign of Leo? The sign of Leo, please. All right, so I'm going to be digging deeper in these and just seeing where the reading takes us now. Um, There is a little bit of a hesitation here for this group of Leo people. Um, I even felt it in the introduction when I was saying my normal spiel. Um, it's like I didn't really have... Yeah, there, there, there's a hesitation here with the Page of Swords. Um, is a little bit of a vulnerable feeling. Whatever you're experiencing right now, you could just be unsure of which way you should go or if you even should be doing it. There, there's a... And I do feel like um, some some heated energy on the upper back, which tells me that there, there's some sort of anxiety here about maybe even what to say. There could be some anxiety here over what you're hearing. There could be some tension in your face, in your face, facial muscles, in your forehead. Um, so this is about what you're seeing or what you're hearing that could be impacting um this nervousness or this vulnerable feeling. Now, this could be something in your community. This could be something with you in a romantic relationship. This could be something with work. It's just a feeling that you're in right now, Leo. Now, even that you say that, you have the temperance energy next to that. So there is a, a realization here, Leo, that this is something that might take some time. I think there's a willingness here by this group of Leo people to have compassion and patience with this situation. Um, even having compassion and patience with yourself. Remember, the Page of Swords is a learning energy. There is an energy of learning. So there's something here that you're not quite stable in or you're not feeling. There, there's something more to gather. There's something more to experience. It's, it's kind of a student energy that we see here. Student of life, student of this situation, student of this love, whatever it is, there's a student uneasiness energy here. Um, the temperance energy, I'm really glad to see that energy, Leo, because that tells me that that is, uh, this is something that you're going to have patience with. You're going to have, um, a significant amount of understanding about and that you're willing to really kind of move forward through this. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is here though. So this is such a beautiful energy to have in this, in, in along with this, um, in, along with in this nervousness, you have the stability that's here. So there's something here for you that's stable, that's moving forward. Um, and remember, this is the next seven to 10 days, the next couple of weeks. So it does seem like there's going to be new stability coming in or maybe some um, messages that come in. But remember, it's a knight. It's not a page of pentacles. It's a knight of pentacles. So you could be um, connecting in with something that was that will bring you stability. You could be moving forward um, and really starting to um, experience some victories here. Whatever is happening, this is something that's real. This is something that you can really put your hands on or see in the bank or um, hold hands with. This is something that's in your reality with the Pentacles energy. So there is a, a real improvement here. And however it fits with you, this will help you feel stable and feel secure 
within a relationship or feel secure within your financial situation, you know, your fi financial situation in some way. The five of cups is here. So this has taken a toll on you emotionally, Leo. It has taken a toll on you. I think that this group of Leo people is realizing that, um, that there is a need now to move forward, a need now, whether you are healed or not, whether you are completely healed or not, there is a, there is a necessity now to move forward into this. Um, you see how this person is looking back. It does, you know, I mean, you can stop and turn around and look at it full on this light in the past. Um, but will it really help you as you move? There is um, an energy here that's urging you forward. There's always time for healing late, later. There's always time to, to sit down and dig through these old emotions later. But for right now, there is a, it's like a call to action kind of energy. And there might be this tug and, what's it, what's it called? Tug of war? Tug of war between the past and the future and how it affects you emotionally. So the first thing I want to do here is dig into this page of swords and see if we can find out more information about what this watching, vulnerable, apprehensive energy is. It's something that could be confusing you or creating instability within you. Um, let's see here what they have to say about page of swords. Let's help me understand the page of swords. That came crashing in, the Nine of Wands. That card came crashing in. I don't know, did you hear it kind of thud on? It thudded on the table like this, boom. It didn't hit the card, it hit the table like, that's how it kind of sounded. It came out really strong. So let me see what else I can get here for the Page of Swords. Ten of Cups. So, I mean, I think I know, I mean, I think you know, Leo, um, where you're going. I think you know what you believe in. I think you know what you're passionate about. Um, you could be somewhat defensive of this situation. Uh, you could be somewhat silent or like a silent defensive energy, but I don't see you backing away. I see you engaging in this. I see you overcoming this um, because you know what's in store. What's in store and, and what's to be gained is, is real happiness here with the Ten of Cups. Um, I, I think you know that it's at your fingertips here with the Page of Swords. You're wanting to do this right. You're wanting to make sure that you're um, going in the right direction. You're, you're learning about this. You have, I think your ego is in check. Like you're, you're understanding now that this is a learning phase for you. And this isn't really a time to... It's, it's a conflict, though. This isn't really a time to be um, – let, let me get deeper into this energy. There, there is a hesitation to step forward by this group of people because there is a, a, something new that's being experienced here. But there's also a real desire to step forward. So it's like a conflict. It's, it's something, there's something that's conflicting within you. Um, it's oftentimes the, the energy that is in the doorway when we step into a new doorway or into a new path or we step into a new situation. It's like that sliver of energy that we have to step through. Um, it, it can tempt us to, to hesitate or we can hesitate in this kind of energy. But as we see here with the Nine of Wands, there is um, there there is a reality here that no one's going to back away from this. That this is going to be carried forward, although it's going to be done carefully, um, because the Nine of Wands is an energy of experience. It's an energy of cautiousness because of experience. Um, the Nine of Wands has been down this road or down roads before, have been through journeys before, have been through battles before. And so many lessons have been learned. So there's an energy of cautiousness. And I think that's really important, Leo, as you step into this, to be cautious about what you're getting into because you have been down some, you have some wounds, you know? Uh, I mean, they might not even be wounds that people can see, but you definitely have some wounds here with the Nine of Wands. Ultimately, though, there's happiness here that's at stake. 
There, there is a potential here that could create a real togetherness or a real success story. And this is something that will bring contentedness and peacefulness and happiness and joyfulness, joyfulness into a home or into a work situation or just into an experience that you're having. So I think that while there is this hesitation and apprehension, um, I think that there is a real desire to, to continue to step forward into this. All right, let's go into um, the temperance energy and see what we can find here with temperance. We have the higher font energy with the eight of wands. So, you know, the higher font energy, the higher font energy is an interesting energy. It's an energy that creates stability within a society. It creates stability. It create it, it has rules and it has guidelines and it has structures in place so that human beings can traverse in their journeys, knowing that there is um, a, a set of rules or, or guidelines or a group of people or a leadership um, uh, a society that can help when times are hard or when things become difficult in life. And this can be, um, this can be an energy that falls over the top of a religious community or the top of a workforce or over the top of, um, a government system, right? So there is some kind of patience and compassion, um, that has to do with the bigger system around you, whether it's a religion that you're involved in, um, whether it is a country that you live within and working within that government system or within a community system, uh, it does look like there's movement now with this, whatever this is. This could be even a, a large company or a company that you work for. And it could even have to do with a Taurus because the higher font is um, the Taurus type energy. Um, temperance is Sagittarius energy as well. Um, we do have movement now. Right. So we're starting to see movement. We're starting to see communication. We're starting to see activities. Um, things are progressing forward with the eight of wands. There could be travel here. Um, there could be a lot of communications going back and forth. There could be a lot of people communicating, especially when you're dealing with the higher font. This is usually a large group of people um, that are being led by a smaller group of people, whether it's a religion or a community or um, a country or whatever it is, um, it, it looks like this eight of wands, this communication, this uh, traveling or this um, going back and forth, a lot of communications here, just activity forward is definitely connected with this larger community. Um, and this larger community usually has something to do with creating structure, safety and security within a community or within a group of people. It does look like there is a willingness here by this group of Leo people to have patience and understanding um, when it comes time for that. There even could be an engagement here between two people because it can also go, get so small that energy can narrow down and really talk about two people who are engaging in a relationship together and forming a structure around that relationship, such as an engagement or a marriage or um, starting to form um, a stabilization around a family structure or around a romantic structure. Structure. So it doesn't have to be such a big energy. It can be a smaller energy that's just involving two people. Um, it, it usually have to, it has to do with multiple people, though. Remember, the high priestess is the counterpart energy, and that's the internal energy of this. So with the higher front, you're usually talking about two people or more, sometimes large groups of people with the higher front energy. All right, so let's look now at this Knight of Pentacles. Now, I'm excited about this Knight of Pentacles because I think this is really going to help you as this, situation, um, as this situation begins to settle in for you. Tell me more about the Knight of Pentacles. Hanged man, it's coming. The Knight of Pentacles is a slower energy, so it's coming, and that's why there has to be temperance here. Queen of Pentacles, all right. The world, beautiful. So with the hanged man, we have to remember that the hanged man doesn't always just mean delay. Sometimes the hanged man talks about forming a different viewpoint or um, there is a weight usually that in within the weight, within the delay, there's some sort of help or perspective or solution that comes forward because of the delay. 
that's how I, um, when I study tarot with my own life and my own situations that I've been through, I found that when the hanged man is here, it's usually a delay that causes some enlightenment or that instills some new understanding. So there is a little bit of a delay here and I, and I am comforted because the hanged man is now on top of the temperance energy. So that tells me that's probably, there's probably something here to do with that. We do have the queen of pentacles, which is a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. So there's Taurus again, uh, but we have a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy. Now this is an energy that is a feminine energy of of earth. Um, it is a energy that finds stability in the details. This is an energy. Um, it could be an occupation that this person has. It could be you. This person could be you that I'm describing, or this could be another person that's in your vicinity. Um, I'm just going to describe the person and then you can decide how this person fits in your situation. But there is a queen of pentacles here. Now, whether this is a man or a woman, this is someone who is having to, in this time, focus in on the details, whether this person wants to or not, they are focusing in on the details. They are working hard. The queen of pentacles is a very hard worker. She, she watches the budget. She um, measures things. She keeps track. She keeps routines. She manages projects. She makes sure things are being done, whether she has to do it or somebody else is doing it. Um, she keeps track of um, the, the to-do lists and, and she's very detail oriented and she finds comfort in those details. So, um, this person could be making lists. This could, person could be counting money. This person could be really working on some in-depth marketing strategies or working on some in-depth financial planning or, um, because it's next to the world energy. So something new is starting for this group of Leo people, something new, um, this, this person, or these Leo peoples feel like there is an expansiveness um, and they're working to create stability within the expansiveness. So I think the expansiveness comes first, right? This expansiveness comes first. So the, either the feeling of it or that it actually happens, but then there's somewhat of a delay while it's actually being fulfilled or while it's actually being created with the Queen of Pentacles. With the Queen of Pentacles, there's often a focus on hard work, diligence, perseverance, tenacity, but also um, there is also a focus now on self-care, sleep, good food, um, rest, because if the Queen of Pentacles doesn't care for herself, she can often find herself um, in, a, in a position where she's becoming unhealthy because of how hard she's working. She doesn't always have to work hard though, but but I think it is quite safe to say that she is usually focused in on some kind of detail process, um, uh, usually about money or resources or home or, or something where the, there's management of the details here. So, so this detail um, focus is going to help this Knight of Pentacles actually come into the reality and help there be some improvement here in your 3D experience. And I think for many of us going through this traumatic experience on earth right now, that there is much of focus now on stability and bringing stability forward. This is about home, money, safety, health. Those areas of our life are very much something that the Queen of Pentacles focuses on. There is a new beginning here. But whenever we say there is a new beginning and whenever we say there is new expansiveness and new excitement and new horizons to be stepped into, there's usually some sort of ending here. So there's something here that has come to an end for many people, whether it's a way of thinking, whether it's an old work opportunity, whether it is a way of earning income, because it's right next to the Queen of Pentacles, whether it's a way of working, whatever it is, there's been a shift now. Um, and there has to be with the world, there has to be some sort of an exiting out of something and an entering into something else, however that resonates with you. There could be new travel here. Again, though, I mean, the energies are, are shifting quite a lot in the, in the universe. And so what we used to think about the world energy, I feel there is, is sort of a different energy around the world energy now. 
It's almost like the world is different. The universe is different. The energy in the world is different. Something is different and it is expanding. It is moving forward. It is moving into a bigger consciousness, but how that affects each and every one of us. And even more importantly, how that affects the queen of pentacles, who's very much rooted, very much finding, needing to find security in the 3d. Um, this could be why the hanged man is here. All right. So let's look, um, Let's look a little bit deeper. I want to look the five of cups. I, I don't really feel like that inner. I, I'm glad that we spoke of it. And I think it is part of this process. But with this, the five of cups, I think that we're pretty much, I, I think I got everything out of that that needed to come forward. I think I want to go now into this world energy. And then I'm going to see what the queen of pentacles has to say. Even if that's you or if that's someone else in your life, I want to see what she has to say. So first, Let's go into this world energy here and see if we can get more information about this change that's happening. Um, Page of Cups, new inspiration about something. Could be a new love experience here. Um, let me get one more energy. King of Pentacles. Now we have the King and Queen. So now we have counterpart energy here. So again this that's why we have this world this is beautiful leo this is what's fun about digging deeper into the into the readings that's why i really like to do it you can really uncover such beautiful treasures when you dig deeper there's something here that it, with the world energy now connecting it with the world energy that's warming the heart center it's something new except it's, it's something bigger than before um, it's something that inspires you it warms you it creates this you know, when, when it's been winter all long, all year long and there's been snow on the ground, it's been cold, it's been cloudy and rainy. And then all of a sudden in the spring, the sun comes out and the plants start popping up out of the earth and there's, there's flowers. And all of a sudden everybody is, is, is outside. Everyone has new energy. That's the kind of energy that, that's here in the Page of Cups. So whether that's a new introduction that's coming forward to you and maybe even an apology, uh, maybe it is, um, let's start over, let's work on this again, let's come up with a new solution. Whether these are two people in business, because these certainly could be two people in business, or two married people, or two people in a, that are coupled together, whether it's in business, whether it's community partners, or whether it is within a home, um, there could be a willingness now to think of this a different way, to work on this a different way, to come back together again. I think there is a sense of anxiety about this and worry about this. Maybe this anxiety and worry here is from the masculine more than the feminine. Um, the masculine energy now is looking at the big picture of things, saying, okay, if we want to have long-term success here, if we want this to be healthy um, for years down the road, there's there are decisions that have to be made and there's actions that need to be taken. So the King of Pentacles looks at the big overall picture of the whole assets and liabilities or the whole cash flow. Um, this person looks at what is owned, what is owned and what is owed right? What is, what is, what, what are the assets and what is the debt? And then he tries to figure out, okay, how are we going to build what we own and how are we going to reduce what we owe other people, right? So there is an energy here of, um, of, of recalibration of the financial system of, or of the home situation or of the health of the well-being of the financial accounts of some way. And it's the King of Pentacles, I feel, who's maybe the most worried um, and, and is coming forward with some sort of offer or introduction or idea that that is inspiring for the for the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel that for some of you here, there is a couple or there is there are two energies that are learning how to work together differently because there's a brand new situation here with the world energy. All right, what does the, see, this is how we can dig deeper. Here, let's have some fun, Leo. Let's have some fun. What does the King of Pentacles have to say? What does the King of Pentacles have to say? What does the King of Pentacles have to say? Eight of Wands, higher font. So the King of Pentacles could be a Taurus energy. Again, we have this higher font coming out and the eight, this, Damn, the same cards came out. So we have the same two cards coming out together with the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant. So 
the King of Pentacles could be taking action now, moving forward now. Um, the King of Pentacles could be even somebody within a government system or somebody within a business who's making decisions. Um, the Hierophant energy. So there is a there. The King of Pentacles wants there to be new stability. He wants there to be formalities and traditions, and he wants there to be. It almost feels like an emperor type energy. He wants there to be some structure here and he's willing to take action. He's willing to um, take the actions necessary to bring this structure in, um, whether it's a relationship structure or a work structure or some sort of government stability in some way. So this could be a business owner. This could be an executive assistant, you know, I mean, it, and I, I don't mean that um, one is less than the other of these two people. I just mean that one focuses on the details and one focuses on the overall health. One focuses from day to day and one focuses from year to year, something like that, a difference in the focus. So the, the masculine energy here, the King of Pentacles is saying, I really want to focus on bringing stability here. I want to create some systems and guidelines and some structures around this. And I'm going to be communicating this. I'm going to be stepping forward into this. And I feel good about this. I feel, I feel passionate about what I'm saying. I feel passionate about what we're doing. And I am willing to put the work in is what this King of Pentacles is saying. All right, let's look and see what the Queen of Pentacles says. <laughs> How far can we dig? How far can we dig? Let's do it. Let's look to see what this Queen of Pentacles says. What does the Queen of Pentacles say? Death energy, Knight of Swords. She has something to say, all right. She has something to say. Eight of Cups. <laughs> Why the Eight of Cups? Why the Eight of Cups? Let's keep going. Why the Eight of Cups? She wants to change something. She's wanting to change something. That's what's coming forward. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Wands flipped over. So she might be tired now. She might be feeling quite overwhelmed. Ten of Cups flipped over. The Sun and Six of Pentacles. So here's the deal. She's been through a major change, this Queen of Pentacles. So there's been a major change in her reality. Um, and once you go through this major change, you can never really go back. So there's something here that she has realized or that she has experienced or that she has come to terms with that has changed her forever. And it's something that can create a little bit of an edge of a personality. It can create a toughness um, in a person when you go through something like this. Um, the Knight of Swords is here. And this Knight of Swords is all about communication and expression of that. It's not, let me change that. It's not all about communication. Sometimes it's about forming your thoughts, finding clarity, and then expressing those. All right, so uh, this Queen of Pentacles could be coming forward and saying, you know what, if I'm going to be in this relationship with you, or if I'm going to be working for you, if I'm going to be partnered with you in some way, um, these are my thoughts. This is what is coming to mind, and this is what I need to say. This is what is my truth. And sometimes when we're in the Knight of Swords energies, it can be surprising for people. It can even create a little bit of friction between people, because the Knight of Swords, see how the sword is up here? You know, the sword is up and he's not really, um, let me get this to focus here. Yeah, the camera's not really behaving. So this sword is up here. And so that means that there is some expression here and the birds are flying and, and um, this beast is stepping through the rings of fire. So... I think that this person is being careful about what is being said. 
but it's being said in a very passionate way, and it could be surprising here what the Queen of Pentacles has to say. I think the Queen of Pentacles is wanting to walk away from something, either walking away from a certain type of relationship or a certain belief system or a certain kind of work. Um, maybe this, you know, I mean, it could even be something like this person. See, this is a Queen of Pentacles, so this is a worker, either a worker in a relationship or a worker at work, but this person is a worker, worker bee. And when this person walks away, this person has usually had enough of something. Maybe this person has been told to work from home. So this is a very th 3D example of what this could be. Maybe this person has said, okay, because of this virus that's going around, you are to work at home now, right? And maybe all this time, this person has travel to work maybe an hour and a half each way on the subway or in a car or in a bus um, or maybe this person has walked to work and it's taken an hour hour and a half maybe even two hours to get there and maybe two hours to get back home what happens when this person works that works from home and finds that they have so much more time in their life that they can um, enjoy their life or be with their children or be healthier maybe you know whatever exercise or whatever they're doing maybe they have more time to cook or maybe they just have more time to sleep and more time to rest. And so what happens when somebody experiences something like that and all of a sudden you're saying, you know what, I don't think I can ever go back to commuting two hours a day. I, I don't think I can ever go back to doing something that I did before. I think I've experienced this now and I'm a completely different person and I'm going to walk away from how I felt before. I, I mean, I just can't. I, I can't do it anymore. Something about the Eight of Cups is creating this change with this Queen of Pentacles. Now, what you know, what is with this Eight of Cups? When I when I clarified the Eight of Cups, some really beautiful energies came out. I mean, it looks like with the, clarifying the Eight of Cups, this walking away and this making a change energy, it looks like there has been some stability found here, some kind of messages of stability or indications that this could be successful. So they have this new indications of success here that I think that is helping them to see that this could truly be a reality for them. We have the sun energy here, which is optimism and empowerment and, and, and an idea of wealth and, and um, feeling good and having vitality in your energy and really having the strength now. So, so this person or this group of Leo people here, you are Leo. I mean, like this is, this is what you're looking for in your own self growth, in your own self care. So I think it really builds you into being the energy that you always knew that you were having the strength or the vitality that you always knew you had. And with the six of pentacles, another beautiful energy. And this talks about having equality in your three dimension. So what you put out, the energy that you put out, the effort that you take in your life, that there is a reward for that that comes back to you, whether that's an in inspiration, whether that's in having healthy children, whether that's in having a significant um, revenue stream or getting paid appropriately for your work. There is here, it seems like a more fair situation that's on the table where it, it feels like there is a much more fair exchange. Yes, if you have been traveling, I'm going back to this traveling to work um, idea or this example. If you have been traveling to work two hours each way and you work for eight hours at work, well, how long are you gone from home? You're gone from home 12 hours a day, right? And so let's say you work from home now and you're working eight hours a day. You have four more hours of the day. That is in essence now your rate per hour away from home has increased so much more. So all of a sudden you're saying, you know what, like this is more fair for me. I can work in this position much more long and much more effectively, much more um, having high production than if I do it the old way. This is much more fair. This is what I'm asking for. And, and then the conversation takes, 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 goes forward from there. All right. So this is going into the queen of pentacles. Now let's see if there's any other energies. I mean, I think I've probably uncovered most of it now. I think I've uncovered most of it. Let's see if there's any, let's just shuffle generally and see if there's any other energies want to come out, but I think I have it. The wheel, the wheel of fortune new movement now, new solutions, a new time ahead. 
That's beautiful. The time has passed for the old way. Now there's a new way. Could be a new bonus here, new new opportunity here with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, this is it. This is all I'm getting. But the wheel is here. The wheel of fortune is here, sitting right over the top of the Nine of Pentacles and over the top of the Temperance. So it might take a little bit, a little bit of time here with the Temperance energy. But I do think that there's new movement, there's new solutions, there's new communications. There, there's a new way coming in here for this group of Leo people. All right, Leo, I am going to move to the extended. In the extended, I'm going to take this out and look at how this feels in maybe two months' time, just to go out into the and forecast a little bit farther into the future. And then we'll look at the people who are around you, um, dig deeper into their energy, and see how they're connecting in with the Leo energy, see what their perspective is of, of the Leo consciousness that I'm connecting in with. All right, my friends, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, feel free to move to the extended if you would like more information. If not, I'm happy with that as well. I wish you all to stay healthy, to stay strong, and um, and and to um, move forward um, in in the way that fits you the best, Leo, in, in this period of time. All right, thank you, my dear friends.